incredible stuff. And as our guest, Mr. Bruce Bradford, said, the question is, what can you not print with 3D printing? And indeed, this morning we started off with what was just the bottom part of what would end up to be that exactly, the bracelet that we printed. It looks amazing, first of all. It's come out very nicely. But firstly, let's just quickly talk about this machine. So, so what kind of, of uh, 3D printer is this in terms of like, the model and what, it, what it's used for? Sure. Mm. So this is our MakerBot Mini. It's an uh, entry-level uh, unit, but even though it's entry-level, it's packed with features. It's got a built-in camera, it's USB, it's Wi-Fi. And this we would typically use for, for a home-type environment yeah. or entry-level prosumer, so a mix between the consumer and the professional. Mm -hmm. They would find this uh, unit uh, very useful. Okay. And once you've got this at home, where do you find the designs of the things that you'd like to print? And how does it work exactly? So there are a couple of places we could get really useful designs. One is on Thingiverse, which is a, a community website. They've got mm -hmm. about 600, 700,000 free to download designs of all sorts of things, of different projects, of education, of engineering examples. Yeah. And those are free to download, download and print. Mm -hmm. Also a very useful app which uh, MakerBot has brought out is uh, over here, yeah. where you can, um, you can make your, for example, this is a vase, and you can just uh, make whatever type of, of vase you want. Oh, right. Change the features and then hit print and it'll come out. So obviously that, that will be connected through some kind of Bluetooth or uh, uh, USB this is, system. This is on Wi-Fi or we can, yes, that's right, we would just use that on Wi-Fi. Fantastic. Okay, so what are, currently, what are the limitations of 3D printing in South Africa? What, what, what can we not do yet? Well, it's not really what we can't do, but obviously what we're looking forward to are, are things like speed increasing, um, different materials at the moment. We're printing in, in PLA, which is a type of a plastic, yeah. which is what you see here. But what we've got coming down the line, which is going to be released this year, is a wood-based compound, um, a metal-based compound, and even a stone-based compound. So you could print uh, a, a metal part or a, a wood part and a, a wood bowl or something like that and get really, really good quality out That's of it. That's really complex stuff because, I mean, you think of metals melting at different temperatures, so the systems of how this works is amazing but let's have a look at that and what we've printed so can, can we pull it out and, and yeah, show sure. everyone at home so this started off first as a flat surface and as you were explaining to me it was printed level by level right so what we've what we've done here it's, it's printed um one oh, layer at a time it's printed at about 0.2 microns about two tenths of a millimeter one layer of plastic at a time and then on top of that another layer another layer and eventually you have your finished product My and the, the great advantage of that is that you can print something with moving objects without actually having to assemble it so if we have a look at, at, at something like this the spanner uh -huh. we've actually printed this in one go and then it's a, a full-on moving object that's incredible and I mean we, the medical applications of this are, are obviously astounding the fact that organs can be printed but there's also a bit of a dark side to this right because people out there are printing guns and they're using them, us usable guns but uh, so how, how does one kind of combat that when you look at the future of what 3d printing can um, can bring I think you know the, the, the positive elements of, of 3d printing far outweigh any negative elements there's just so much positive stuff if you yeah. look at the medical and the possibility that are open to us, we don't really see that as the issue. Absolutely fantastic. But thank you thank you so much for bringing in this machine and, and really just opening up our minds to the world of possibilities out there. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking Mr. Up. Bruce Bradford from Rectron telling us all about 3D printing. I'm still astounded by this. Look at this. A pink elephant that just can go splat and <laughs> splat and splat. Ah, man. Okay, small things, small things, I know. Right now, let's take a look at those morning headlines with Leanne.